So what you're about to watch is me walking you through my December planning process. How did I plan? What did I use? What spreads have I used? What habits am I tracking? Everything like that. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to refer to some other resources, some of the videos, some of the people that I've watched and that I picked up stuff from. And you can find that below. You'll find that in the uh, description, I guess they call it. The description on YouTube. Sure, why not? We'll call it that. Uh, you can find that in the description and you can just dig in. So I'd love to see um, anything you do. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching. With that, let's buckle up and let's do a monthly planning session uh, with my bullet journal. Welcome to my December 2018 plan with me. So what we're doing this month, it's my first one, so I can't say I've changed anything, although I have, and I'll point that out as we go, um, is just walking through my bullet journal, how I planned it. This is my actual bullet journal. Uh, this is exactly what I use, not something that I have shown off or made, not shown off, that's the wrong word. This is exactly like these are my tasks for the month, really, as opposed to a version that I've just made so it so it looks better on video, not <laughs> looks better. So you can read it better on video. So if you're having trouble reading this, sorry. Anyway, so what I always start with is this, uh, I guess it's usually one, two, three, four, five spread, um, five lines, and this takes me from my future log, which is back here, December. Well, I guess it actually should go to January. So let's do that now too, since I'm right here. This should go into January. because I've already got stuff moving forward. Uh, so I took all of these tasks in here and migrated them forward. I didn't do this. This was just to remind me to think about um, what habits I wanted to track. We'll get to habits in a minute. Moved all these forward. And I thought about it and I actually put them into specific weeks. You see, I left one week entirely blank. I'm not planning to do anything that week. Uh, and I, this one, I put Christmas. I have a meeting uh, and then I need to spend a day like sorting the future. That's it. So that's all I'm doing that week is nothing. So I have three weeks of work really. Uh, and I'm taking off um, really from the 22nd is my last day of work. Uh, and I have, a, well, I have a meeting on the 29th. And on the Friday here as well, but that's it. That's all my work. Now, what I've also done here is I wrote out, uh, I took this from, I think it was Matt Raglan. He wrote his videos out. But I took out my videos, all my, my content for the month, and put all of it in here with dates. And I chose posts that I wanted to do with it. Um, now, some of this is already done, right? December 3rd is tomorrow. Uh, I'm recording this on the 2nd. And it, this is already done. I don't need to worry about it. Um, same with the talk triggers. Uh, and I'm doing this video right now for December 6th. So we are good. Oh, actually, I'm not doing this video. That's the one I already did too. So anyways, I'm working actually on this one over here, plan with me for the 13th. Um, now this, this page is clipped because it has private information. There's no, like, I'll see, show you a similar project page in a bit. And from there I took out and I wrote out my content planning for December. Uh, and you can see this is the first one. I messed up with the date here, but what a good review looks like. I'm reviewing some books, this video right now, uh, the, some more posts, some more videos, so you can see what I'm going to do really for the whole month. Uh, and I already scratched one out here because I already had some videos in the bank. I had them in the bank because I wanted to, you'll see, you'll see this, my co posted content planning coming up. And you'll see this in a bit. And I took post the notes, laid them out here, and I just dug through what my content was. Because even looking at this, this is a lot of content for the month. And I, I keep getting myself into, oh, I can do more content. And then realizing that, I don't know about this. It's a lot of content. So... Uh, anyways, and I so I crossed out two right post that content planning is done and have a video coming up on daily content migrate daily bullet journal migration, and so that's coming up as well. And so you'll see eventually, but these other two, which is what to do if you missed something in your teen and X books for 2018. Um, so I planned all these out and I wrote down the things I needed to do with them and everything so that I was aware of what needed to happen uh, and how to right. So this one is Atomic Habits, and for my reading group, I send a copy to the uh, owner or the leader of the group, so I put that in there so that I can have it ready and send it to him as well. Uh, and the other books I don't need to do because they're not for the reading group, they are my own books. Now the next one, my second month with this spread. So what I continued to find in a bullet journal was that it was hard to track long-term projects. And it just was, it was a struggle. Like as I went through, I'd be like, what do I have to do in the month? And I wouldn't have a great idea of it. And I'd have to go back to uh, things or something else like that. And it was felt sort of like a crutch in many ways. Uh, and so what I started doing, this is my second month with this, is I wrote down all the projects I need to do in a month. And I left some blanks in here just in case, um, right? I know I have to write, have to. I write two articles for Liquid Web, uh, and so I already know the title of one. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next one. And then this is a, you'll see these projects in a minute. I need to hook up uh, some stuff for one of my clients called Prop Pubs, uh, and I need to do that. Now, they don't have start dates. You can see I have due, start, 50%, and done. Um, now, these don't have start dates because they're carryover, so I just kind of, it out. 
Uh, although I guess I could put the original old start date. I kind of started this in the middle, so I don't know if that's going to work. Anyway, uh, for the future, I could keep tracking the start date. And that would give me an idea of how long a project is dragging, which would be interesting to know. So maybe I'll do that in the future when I'm starting a brand new project with this format. I will put the start date and continue to carry it over. And I want to put when I'm 50% done and then when I've actually submitted it. So that's good. Uh, and I also have right here, so this client is a retainer client, uh, and I, there's no due date for it, and there's not even a start date really. Um, so I just wanted to track it in here, because this is a project I have to take care of for the month, and I, you know, there's five blocks for five hours, and so I know that, and I'll fill them in as I go. And then if I'm over the five hours, I'll just fill in some extra blocks here with a different color, just to recognize that I might go over. Uh, it happens sometimes. I don't worry about it too much, just like he doesn't worry about, like if I get to four hours one month, that's fine. And then my other project for myself, is a uh, freelancer's guide to getting started. There was issues with the audio, so I have to record it again. I should, I'm one of those 90% done things shipped, so all the words were there. There was just some stutters occasionally, uh, and not on my part, on rendering. I don't know. Well, I think I know now. I think it was the peak limiter in Ferrite. Anyway, uh, so I have to do that. That's one of the projects I need to do, and I will get up early and do my recording sessions then. And then the other thing I've added this month is a habit tracker. Uh, and I did take this from Matt Ragland. I took that from him because it looked good. And I'm doing three this month. So one is an hour of reading. I have found that, and I did a video on this as well, but I found that an hour of reading in the morning really helps me ease into the day, relax, just feel like I'm I'm starting out smoothly. The second one here is playing with my kids for an hour. I, I just want to put time in. I want to be a good parent. So I want to make sure I play and spend some interactive time with my kids. Maybe that's taken to the park. So it doesn't have to be like playing with them specifically but taking them and doing something with them that is not just sticking them in front of the TV or anything like that. I want to do that. And this one is seven for seven hours of sleep because I need seven hours of sleep at least and I need to do it. And I got it last night, which is good. I did not get it on December 1st. I got like four hours. So anyway, really with seven hours of sleep, what I want to do is over a week average seven hours, but I'd like to have more days at seven. So one thing to recognize is that um, occasionally I might get like 6.59 and that's not seven. So I guess I don't count it here, but like how do I signify that I was super, super close? Maybe I just put an X through like, maybe I put one line if it was like over six and a half, then I put one line through just to let me know that I was super close. So we're getting better, right? And so even noting over the course of let's say a couple months, noting I'm having more like single line through that I'm getting over seven or you know within 15 minutes of it is good um, as opposed to a lot of blanks. So I'll continue to track those and we'll see how that goes for the month. Uh, and the other thing I've done is I buy so many books, so many books. And at one point, uh, even in this bullet journal, I had like six pages of different books categorized and everything else that I was going to read and how would I decide? And I just seems like a pain in the butt now. I'm not going to migrate that to my next journal uh, at the end of the month. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think I'm going to keep this up. This is my books list. And for this month, I have five books on my list. Um, keep bumping that with my hat. I need to just turn my hat around. Now, locked and loaded to quote the old arm wrestling movie. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. Um, so my books. So the first one is for my book club. And that's for Clarity Wins. That's actually for January. I'll read that. And then I will do the audio and other th stuff for that. Um, next number. The second one I'll read, or my next one on the list, is uh, Kids Are Worth It. Um, that's why it has the exclamation mark there. Because I just think that's timely for being a parent and where we are at life right now. And then I'll read Pleasure of Reading, draft number four, and I, Jen. Now, if I don't finish these, that's not a problem. I just want to have like a short list picked already that I saw so when I come, I just flip back to this page and I go for it. That's all I do. So that's excellent. That's where I'll start. And if I get further, then I'll just decide to read other things. I don't know. Like I usually read a fiction book, which isn't on this list at night before I go to bed a bit. Right now I'm reading Roald Dahl's Boy. Um, yeah. And then the other new thing, well, not new. This is the second, third month I've done this is Prov Pups. So this is a project page where I've taken like... You saw these, right, two pages ago, or this page, right? Right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So and I've just taken the notes that I need, very minor notes, just so I know what the overarching thing is. I've left two pages for this. 189, that's the last spread it was on. So that's good. And these are all, you know, that's in my index as well, threaded properly. And so this lets me go look through this and say, you know, I, when I'm working on them, I can jump right to this list and I can just start ticking off these tasks and I can... You know, add more notes on the other page if I need to. And then my final thing for a month, which I have a video on as well, I'll link to that uh, in the uh, description, is my week plan. This post-it notice here just because I have some private information listed here that not everyone should see. So, and again, I started this just like I do every week. I do my 
red, my outside commitments, right? These outside commitments in the middle of my week are the bounds to my work. I cannot work. I cannot have any appointments, anything else in that. I guess technically this, this is friends coming over. I put it as an appointment, but really it's a bound to my work. I should have put that because these are work meetings. Uh, and then after that, I put in my meetings. And this probably should have been red because it's something that kind of contains my work. Anyway, and then I put in my run, my wife's run in green. And I'd usually run Thursday, so that would be a Thursday run, but I will, I don't know, I could probably miss it, I guess. Uh, and then I would put in, right, I have tasks here, which are kind of covered up, but I will put in here and say, uh, when am I going to do this? I'm going to write the Atomic Habits post tomorrow morning. I'm going to work on content uh, tomorrow in theory, although I'm doing it right now, so we'll see. Uh, and then I'm going to do some audio recording, and then I'm going to do some reading and work on Ronald. Now that, like, I'll be recording for like half an hour, maybe I'll read for an hour, and then I'll have three, four hours to work on this client, which is good. Uh, and then I've slotted in here. I don't know what I'll do here. It's such a small time frame that I may just read and tack away at some email and some admin stuff because it's like two hours. My wife gets home around one. I get down to the office around 1.15. I got to be done like 2.30. So there's not a lot of time here. Um, this is really my big work block of Tuesdays. And that's it. And that's my monthly planning. That's what I do. Um, this part I've been doing for a long time. The spread that is... So this is new. This is a new spread. Um, I see I've migrated projects before already. There's 189, just to give me a better handle. This is new. Uh, the projects, I liked it last month. It let me have a handle on my projects and let me step back and see. I didn't, I actually killed all these projects. Um, at the end of the month, as I was doing my review, I killed all of them in things because I was tracking stuff in things just because I, again, didn't feel like I had a handle on projects. But after a month of not really looking at them and feeling like I had a handle on things, I killed it. Uh, this new again, we'll see how this goes with um, content planning, how this goes, and even how much content I still do, how easy I make it on myself. That was one of the things I used to subscribe to that if it's not easy, uh, I'm not doing it. Um, which is why you'll find like m things me saying, like me saying in previous podcast episodes or previous videos where I'm like, I'm totally going to fix this. And I never fix it because I was never going to in the first place. Uh, even with the, if you do a video interview with me ever, what I do is I chop the beginning and the end and leave everything else in the middle, unless there's like some major reason, which there never has. And then I've been doing this for a long time, for two years at least. As I've been doing bullet journal, I've been doing these five things. This was a new one where I just wanted to plan my content. I don't know if I like that there or not. I could see me keeping it um, just to this instead and leaving this blank. I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's my monthly plan with me. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for planning with me for the month. As you can see, I really try to keep it basic, I suppose, in some ways, at least not artistic. I'm not drawing stuff all over. And there's nothing wrong with that if you like it, but it, I am not doing it. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. That's how I migrate my month. I said I've added a few new spreads to the month um, just so that I can try some new things out. One of the biggest issues I've had uh, with Bullet Journal was tracking projects long term. So I've added some stuff around tracking projects. Uh, one of them I've used a bit, one of them I'm just trying to use. Um, but I do like the idea of migrating my projects forward every month so that I can, so I have to touch it so that I'm more familiar with what's happening and what's not getting done. Probably what's not getting done is the best thing. Um, noting what's not getting done so that I can make a change uh, in my process and start getting more things done. Again, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to know what you do with your bullet journal, how you migrate, how you migrate everything, why you think I'm a terrible person, why I should never be migrating my stuff like this. Um, but you're wrong, because I'm amazing. Uh, yeah, love to know. Right below, you can subscribe, you can give me a thumbs up, you can like, you can share it. I'd love it if you share it with uh, whoever you think would benefit from it. Have an awesome day.